danger is growing. A new power is rising in Asia Pacific. An army tradition from the Empire to the People's Republic. Chinese army. The People's Republic of China, the great power of Asia Pacific. In these days, when the world is going through chaotic processes, the People's Republic of China continues to develop in a way to make the whole world uneasy. Perhaps for the first time since the Cold War, the world is in such a tense situation. The rising arms, race, and strained relations seem to be creating a bipolar world. So what is the place of the People's Republic of China in this bipolar world? What is the military power of the People's Republic of China in a possible war? Let's examine it together. As military team, we prepare critical reports for you and present them to your liking. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to support us. You can also share with us the topics you want to see by commenting on our videos. We are Militaria. The Army of the People's Republic of China, or officially the People's Liberation Army of China. The main military force of the People's Republic of China, the People's Liberation Army, the armed wing of the Chinese Communist Party, is divided into five branches of service land forces navy air force rocket forces and strategic support forces the leadership of the army is provided by the central military commission and the chairman of the central military commission is also the commander-in-chief in the republican era the people's liberation army had its roots in the left-wing units of the Kuomintang's National Revolutionary Army. It was then, in 1927, that these units rebelled against the nationalist government and emerged as the Chinese Red Army. However, in the shadow of the Second Sino-Japanese War, units such as the New Fourth Army and the Eighth Root Army retained their independence before rejoining the National Revolutionary Army. In 1947, the two communist units of the National Revolutionary Army were reunited to form the People's Liberation Army. Since then, the People's Liberation Army has operated in different periods, adopting nine different military strategies. Some of these strategies played an important role in 1956, 1980 and 1993. The Chinese People's Liberation Army has been actively involved in many operations. The first of these operations was the Chinese Civil War. The People's Liberation Army of China, which actively served throughout the Civil War, ensured that the Civil War ended in favor of the Chinese Communist Party. With the success of the army, the nationalist Chinese government settled on the island of Taiwan, which still has problems with the People's Republic of China today. It should also not be forgotten that the Nationalists and the People's Liberation Army served together in the Sino-Japanese War. After the establishment of the communist regime in the country, the Chinese People's Liberation Army ensures security and the survival of the regime to a great extent. The presence of the Chinese People's Liberation Army in the country can be considered as the guarantee of the regime. After the Civil War, and the Sino-Japanese War. The Chinese People's Liberation Army actively took part in the ongoing Taiwan crisis. It is still continuing. According to the data obtained in 2017, the number of official personnel of the Chinese People's Liberation Army has now reached almost 3 million. The number of reserved personnel is reported to have reached 600,000. The number of Chinese citizens who have reached the age required to join such a large army reaches 20 million every year. In 1987, the vast majority of the People's Liberation Army ground forces consisted of conventionally armed units, representing 70% of the Chinese People's Liberation Army. 
Although these units provided a solid conventional defense, their offensive capacity was limited, and they were not adequately prepared for nuclear, biological or chemical attacks. The main forces consisted of 118 infantry divisions, 13 armored divisions, 33 artillery and anti-aircraft artillery divisions, and 71 independent regiments. There were also 21 independent battalions, mostly support units. The regional forces consisted of 73 border defense divisions and garrison units, and 140 independent regiments. These units worked to ensure the security of the country, but struggled to fully adapt to the requirements of modern warfare. Over time, however, the People's Liberation Army of China was further modernized and brought up to date. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Navy is the foundation of China's naval power. Historically, it has its roots in the turbulent times of the Chinese Civil War. Established in 1950 to strengthen its naval presence, the force has grown impressively since then. Today, armed with more than 300,000 personnel, it is one of the largest naval forces in the world. The Navy has more than 530 ships and more than 600 aircraft. Important assets such as three aircraft carriers, two helicopter carriers, and eight amphibious assault ships further enhance its power at sea. The Chinese Navy's inventory is quite diverse. 78 different classes of landing ships, 51 destroyers, 49 frigates, 70 corvettes, and 109 assault boats support its operational capabilities at sea. The inventory also includes ships designed for specialized missions such as 26 submarine hunters, more than 17 patrol ships, and 36 mine countermeasures ships. Submarines are the Navy's most secretive and powerful force. 79 submarines symbolize the submarine power of the Chinese Navy and ensure their mobility at sea. In addition, 19 supply ships provide logistical support for the sustainability of operations. Limited, and they were not adequately prepared for nuclear, biological, or chemical attacks. The main forces consisted of 118 infantry divisions, 13 armored divisions, 33 artillery and anti-aircraft artillery divisions, and 71 independent regiments. There were also 21 independent battalions, mostly support units. The regional forces consisted of 73 border defense divisions and garrison units, and 140 independent regiments. These units worked to ensure the security of the country, but struggled to fully adapt to the requirements of modern warfare. Over time, however, the People's Liberation Army of China was further modernized and brought up to date. The People's Liberation Army Air Force, the defense arm of the People's Republic of China, represents the country's immense power in the sky. Formally established in 1949, the force is equipped with advanced aviation technology and plays a critical role in the country's defense. The Air Force is a powerful force with 395,000 active personnel. With almost 3,500 fighter jets, this huge team protects the skies and strengthens the country's defense power. The most remarkable of these aircraft is undoubtedly the Chengdu J-20. The Chinese People's Liberation Army Air Force consists of five main branches. Air defense, anti-aircraft artillery, surface-to-air missiles, radar systems, and the Airborne Corps. This diversity allows the country to respond readily and effectively to any air threat. What do you think? Do you think the Chinese People's Liberation Army is a threat to the world? Which topic would you like to see in our next episode?